recording San Alejo. I'm Grace. And I'm Izzy. Please rise and join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. The book fair is open till the 28th. Come before school or during lunch. Hi, this is Grace with some sports announcements. Don't forget there's a flag football practice today beginning at 2.30 and ending at 4 p.m. Make sure you bring your forms and sign handbook if you haven't turned those in yet. Hi, volleyballers. Hope everyone's getting excited for tryouts next week. Remember, 6th and 7th graders start Monday, September 21st. That's next week, and 8th graders start Tuesday, September 22nd. In order to expedite the check-in progress, please bring your completed paperwork to Ms. Ling either during lunch B or after school any day this week, and you'll get your tryout number. This way, you can, on the day of the tryouts, you can start warming up right away after you change and head into the gym. Seventh grade students, our annual Pace Promise field trips to Cal State University, San Marcos, are fast approaching. All seventh grade students visit CSUSM to learn about the San Marcos Promise. This year, we will make three separate trips with smaller groups of students on Friday, October 2nd, and Friday, October 9th, and Friday, October 16th. Yesterday, your second period teacher gave you a permission slip to take home for your parent's signature. Please return your signed permission slip to your teacher no later than Monday, September 21st. There is no cost for this field trip. Good morning, Sam Eagles. I am Brianna, one of your ASB ambassadors. Here I have with me today is Trey and Dean. We want to thank each and every teacher and student for their participation in the school-wide electoral process, process last Friday. We also want to remind teachers to send the names of your period two homeroom ASB representatives. Names to Ms. Murray as soon as possible. Our first all-class representative ASB meeting will take place in October. Ms. Murray will send out a reminder of late, later date. As for the school-wide elections, all the votes have been received and counted. The results have been kept in secrecy, and now we, too, will just find out the results. On behalf of the entire SEMS community, candidates know you all did an amazing job of challenging us to take this process seriously. We in ASB are exceptionally proud of your efforts. No matter how this unfolds, no, we are very proud and impressed with your effort, speeches, and dedication. How about an applause for all our candidates and sense? And now, drum roll, please. For school treasurer, we have Sarah Pussinger. And now for school secretary, we have Hannah Fladeen. School 2015 and 16 school vice president is Kendall Glassman. And for SEMS 2015-2016, our school president, congratulations, Madeline Ruska. It was a tight race. Sims, please join us in congratulating our newest ASB leadership team. Again. Okay. Again, thanks to everyone. Let's, Let's make, make this a great year, Eagles. Hello, San Luis Middle School. We have a special announcement for all sixth graders. Seventh and eighth graders, you can turn off the announcement and continue with your lesson for today. Sixth graders, tonight we invite your parents to join us to back to school. Your parents will follow your schedule, meet your teachers, and get acquainted with your class procedure. Students, this is an event attended only for your parents. While your parents are at back to school night, we urge you to utilize this time by working on your homework and studying. 
Each of you will be receiving a back to school night scheduled for you to fill out with your class schedule. Mrs. Brining will be on in a bit to go over how to do so. It is important that you fill it out correctly. I also would like to remind you that our event starts promptly at six o'clock, which means your parents will have to get there early because parking is at a limited portion. So they may have to wear their comfortable shoes and walk a bit. Also, the PTO is going to be on campus prior to the start of our event and the book fair. And that's a great opportunity for you guys to score some super cool things and support our school. Thank you very much. Here is your sheet that your teachers will be handing out. You wanna make sure that you look at the bottom part of this, because this is what I'm gonna go over right now with you on how to fill this out. So it says your first period, you wanna write your room number, your teacher, and your subject. So if you have Miss Warner first period, you would write room 453, Warner History. Now for second period, you're either going to have PE or Expo or Band or Study Skills or Mass Support. This is where your, your parents will need to choose where to go. Now Band is having a separate night, so if you have Band, make sure your parents go to PE. So you want to write PE <clears throat> Neptune gym or if you have study skills or expo you won't want to put that there too so your parents can choose which one they want to go to then period three you would mark down say miss edwards you have language arts room 354 same thing for reading period four you would write 354 edwards reading then for fifth period say you have miss goodrich you would write room 254 Goodrich, math, and then for sixth period, you would have 254, Goodrich, science. Make sure that you fill this out correctly because this is what your parents will be using to follow your schedule tonight. Have a great day. All right, teachers, please take the next five minutes to go over this form with your students. We look forward to having your parents join us tonight.